Okay, so in this video we're gonna import the grass and then we're gonna convert it to AI standard uh, surface shader and then we're gonna scatter it uh, into the terrain. So let's get started. So first let's uh, import the grass. Let's go to file import. Let's go to our assets uh, folder and then there's this grass, 70 centimeters tall. And then let's import. Okay, and then let's uh, look at the outliner here, and then we can see we have uh, the two files of grass imported. Okay, so let's go to new lab perspective, and then let's frame on it, so we can see this is the grass that we got. So we're gonna use this uh, this first grass, this second grass. We're gonna use this one. Looks nice. They kind of both the same, but this one have. Uh, extra like uh, flowers at the top we're not gonna use that because we're gonna create our own flowers and then we're gonna be spread it so we just want to use the grass as uh, just the grass as it is so let's delete this grass here let's select um, let's also hide this human and then uh, let's go to this grass now you can see it's uh, individual parts so we need to combine it but first let's select a group here and then let's isolate the selection by clicking on this uh, arrow here and then we want to move the grass make sure it's in the middle and then uh, while we're selecting the group let's go mesh and then combine okay so now we have the grass as a one and then let's go edit delete by type history to make sure we deleted the history and then now let's just snap the pivot uh, somewhere in the um, in the bottom so you can hold d and then when you hold d the pivot will be you can move it around and then i'm gonna uh, hold x at the same time and then snap it somewhere in the grid here so let's hold d and then x and now i snapped it uh, in the grid at the bottom so this will be the pivot where this grass is going to be scattered it's important to have the pivot in the correct place so this way Maya can scatter it easily okay so now it's in uh, zero 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 which is good okay so that's good if I press six there's no textures gonna be applied to it and that's totally normal because we we don't have any texture applied yet so let's clear the selection and then let's go to arnold here and then let's create a new ai standard surface and let's call it ai let's call grass okay and then let's uh, select that uh, file from here and then let's select our uh, textures okay so the grass here we have uh, one diffuse and one specular so let's select the diffuse it's 1k okay so that's good and then here we can keep everything the same and then we're gonna do the specular here so let's click on the color and then let's click on the file and then let's select the spec okay and then let's make sure we change it from srgb to raw okay so now you can see it came back the specularity and then the weight let's tone it down like 0 0.4 we don't want it to be this strong and then the roughness let's increase it so the spec is not super like uh, intense so it's become more rougher so for now that's pretty good that will do the job so let's select the grass here and then let's assign material to viewport selection okay so the grass now so this grass is uv'd correctly so everything will be applied uh, to it the right way so you can see at the bottom like the kind of uh, yellow and then the smaller it gets uh, nice green uh, variations okay so the grass now it's uh, good to go so we can go like edit here and then delete unused nodes so this way we clean our graph our hyper shade and have it uh, good okay so now let's show it back and now this is the scale of it so you can see it's really really small so i think we need to scale it a little bit more and that's something we need to work with uh, when we start scattering this grass more because i want to increase also uh, the size of the trees uh, i want them to be a little bit bigger 
and then we want to also increase uh, the grass as well to be a bit bigger as well so there there will be like a combination of work between scaling and adjusting to get like everything feeling uh, nice uh, okay so now let's work on scattering the grass so let me rename it here just uh, just we can rename it as a grass and then uh, what we're gonna do is let's go uh, to effects and let's go to mesh and then create mesh network just click on it okay so here mesh 2 created and then um, next thing we need to do is let's go to the settings of this mesh and then uh, to the distribute and then let's change it from linear to uh, mesh and then next thing is let's connect uh, ground so let's grab the ground new and then the input mesh and the input mesh let's add it okay so now it will be like 10 grasses scattered here so what i'm gonna do is gonna go to the uh, camera view here and then let's uh, hide the first instancer which is the trees because now you just want to see the grass so now next thing to do is go to mesh 2 to the settings and then here under scatter number of points let's increase that to 5000 okay so now we scattered but we really can't see them very well so what i want to do select mesh 2 and then go to mesh utilities and then we're gonna go to switch mesh geometry type so this way we change it to instancing and we change it to instancing it's gonna be much much easier to work with and then much lighter on the ram so you can see these grass now are really really small like you barely can see them and uh, we want to change the scale so we could select the original one and then we can scale it like change it to two and then let's change it let's say 10 so you can see now uh, we can see much uh, better the result here so this is something we're gonna be now working with uh, with the trees so let's show up the trees as well so let's click one here we just want to make sure the relationship between the grass and the trees is kind of natural so it doesn't look uh, you know the grass is too big or the trees are too small so while we're looking here at the trees i think we can scale them a little bit more so now we are at this stage here we kind of more like an artistic uh, approach uh, so we kind of need to work based on uh, you know what makes sense and what works and what looks nice so we want to do that um, at this stage and uh, while we are early on so this way we can get like start to get like really the results we're looking for so let's start scaling the trees so let me go to the trees uh, geometry group here let's select everything and then let's change them to from one to two for example so now we, we get like a nice now the camera between the trees and looks pretty good so the camera is flying between the trees so that's really nice like i like how how it makes much denser without adding too much geo and this looks pretty good as well and the grass now start to feel more uh, natural so we could scale it down a little bit so let's go like uh, 1.5 let's see so this way we can get more breaks so this is 1.5 maybe we can go a little bit more so let's go 1.7 so that's good i like 1.7 it seems pretty good uh, we're still having breaks you can see and also the trees looks uh, nice as well so we can uh, fly between those trees and then we can reveal uh, the terrain the scope of it so that's pretty good and 5000 so far for the grass is uh, pretty good we can increase it more we can increase it like much more so let's press 5 here and so we can see as well press six so we could go to the mesh instancer here too and that's for the grass 
and then let's uh, play a little bit some settings here let's create for example a randomness so we can randomize uh, you know the rotation of this grass so make it more nicer so let's click on it and then add a random node so you can see it's instantly like uh, will basically rotate so if I like undo so if I let's go to the first frame and then if I undo remove this randomness and then let's uh, let's deselect the grass let me just so this is uh, now let's hide the trees and then why we in a mesh and sensor 2 if we go to the settings and then if you keep an eye on the um, the grass if we add the random it's gonna just randomly adjust so we can also like adjust the rotation like this but we want to be careful though uh, just to be careful and then we can adjust the scale and then we can adjust the position but I wouldn't change the position I will keep it as it is you know and we always can adjust the strength of this node so when it's zero it doesn't have any effects and when it's one it have uh, more effect so we can uh, just play around with these settings just randomize a little bit uh, like 0 0.1 0 0.05 0 for example on random seed just change the random seed and you can see things are uh, changing here so this is without the randomness and then this is with randomness it's kind of nice you know it's uh, it's you know just a little bit and maybe here like 0 0.5 or maybe like a little bit a little bit more so you can see just like some some variation here it will add up like all these variations can help and now what we can do also we can go to the distribute and then we can increase this number and we're gonna also here just a note we're gonna keep calculate rotations because we don't want them to be like this straight we want them to adjust based on the terrain and looks more natural and here like we can increase it let's say to 7000 so this is good we can go like more insane numbers let's say like can go 10,000 but we want to be careful we want to like we don't want to go too much at once so I will go with 6,000 for now so 1,000 more than what he had before and then I will slowly increase when I start adding the, the other parts of the because we're gonna add like um, uh, shrubs we can add also like flowers so I just want to be careful not to add too much at uh, one time and then we can always keep adjusting these uh, settings until we get the right uh, balance and then now let's show the trees again and then uh, let's check if we can play with the with the settings on the mesh on the trees as well so we can get something uh, pretty cool so we have random here so that's good uh, and let's also add the randomizing um, here effect on it as well similar to the grass so let me switch and then let's select uh, mesh instancer 1 and then let's add a uh, random node and same here with the random node uh, let's go to it and then uh, and let's start just adjusting the settings we're not gonna we're not gonna change in the scale anything we can just change here in the rotations let's see rotation x we don't want to do that that's like too much maybe like minor minor just like a little bit and this just like maybe tiny bit you know just like just a little bit just to add a little bit of variation in the trees but we don't want uh, too much so that's pretty cool this is what's gonna start you know help bring more realism into the scene and we can keep everything here the same we don't need to adjust anything so this is good so now we have uh, 
like in a pretty good stage we have like the basics of everything set up here we have the trees we have the grass uh, so this is pretty nice now looking and I like the scale for now we can always adjust it at any time as you guys saw it's really easy to do that we can always adjust it and tweak it along the way so in the next video we're gonna work into the bushes and, and the shrubs so we're gonna bring the shrubs we're gonna create shrub in Maya and then have it uh, textured as well in Maya and then we're gonna bring it to the scene and then we're gonna scatter it and then you're gonna start to see how we adding all these layers of vegetation is gonna bring the scene to life and it's gonna make it look really nice so i'll see you in the next video